Nice red, nice red. That's the day maker, buddy. A nice fish right there. That's a good one right there, huh? Hey gang, today I am back in Citrus County, Florida. We're in Crystal River, one of my very favorite places. A lot of you know it well, the plantation on Crystal River. Joined by my good friend and CCA Florida Star Tournament Director, Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, and fishing with one of our main guys here, Captain James Kerr, is putting us on the fish. We got incredible weather. Yep. For this time of year, the weather's great. What are you thinking? What's the outlook? Weather looks good. We had a little front push through last night. Um, the redfish and the trout bite's been good, so we're gonna get out there and get to work on and see what we can get done. Got three good anglers on the boat. Ought to be a great day. Can't wait to see what the good Lord gives us. You know, one of the really special times of the year here on the west coast of Florida is springtime. You know, winters for us aren't quite as bad as winters across the country, but we still have a winter. Things do get cold, you know, temperatures get down into the 30s and the fish react to that. They move to the rivers. They try to find the springs where that water temp's going to be 72. So in the spring, everything pushes out of the back country. And when they do, you know, the bait has shown up, things come alive and, and the bite really, really turns on. So, you know, spring is one of my favorite times to fish here on the west coast of Florida, especially here out of Crystal River. Um, it just comes alive. It's, it's really magical. So. What's the plan here, Cap? Obviously, we got a super low tide here this morning. Yeah, we don't have any water on the inside, so we came out here a little bit deeper to see if we can pick up, you know, a few trout, maybe a surprise snook, let this water fill up on the inside before we try to get up in there to get on the redfish. That water temp's still down, so the fish have been pretty active? Oh yeah, no, the, we had, that cold front came through a few days ago, the temperature dropped probably uh, close to 20 degrees. That's but it, it came right back up though pretty good because it's been warm the past few days so once we get in there we shouldn't have any problem getting on the redfish and snook and trout. Well, I do like me a redfish or two. Just buying a little bit of time out here. You know today's really exciting day for me is one of my very favorite guys on the planet up here in the Crystal River area for sure. Captain James Kerr is just a, a phenomenal local guide. He, really hasn't been guiding all that many years, but uh, man, it, you, you just, he oozes passion and love of putting people on fish. And he's, a, he's just a ton of fun to fish with. And then, you know, the great Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, CCA Florida Star Tournament Director, you know, tournament angler extraordinaire, just a, she's just a phenomenal angler. Um, she's a phenomenal lady angler, but, you know, I'd put her up against, you know, just about any of the men I know, you know, fish for fish, she can catch them. And uh, we always have a great time fishing together. How much water we got right here? Well, right here we got, the channel's behind us, so it's 25, you know, maybe 30 foot, and then it kind of tapers up. This right here is probably eight to 10 foot right here, gradually going up to this bar right here. Gotta let it get down a little bit then. Fish on. Oh, I told you I would steal your spot. There, there you go. go. Oh, another trout. Another nice trout. I'm gonna send the fleet over. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're so beautiful. And you know what? Fish. You can tell too, with speckled trout, a lot of times they seem to carry that weight in their back, almost like a tarpon. Yes. You know what I mean? Fish so on. So we got a double. We're into the we're into the trout already. But this fish has got a nice wide back on it, so you know they're eating good and they're all healthy. That's good. Real I'm bring, nice fish. I'm bringing Whoa. you away, Mike. Oh, that's that nice is there. a good one. Wow, nice fish. Nice. Yeah, trout. that's a good trout right there. Hey, you guys know I'm the host, right? That's right. <laughs> I'll trade with you. I'm just a guy with the... <laughs> You're good, buddy. I want you to catch some fish. You take people fishing every day. This should be fun for you. Look at that. Every day, that, nice trout's, trout. that trout's thick both ways. That's a real nice speckled trout right there. 17, right. 18 inches. Yeah, we're not going to handle We're not gonna handle that fish either. We're going to let that fish go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. Nice one. All right. Now you two give me a minute to fish, would you? <laughs> we'll just keep you working. Yeah, right? That'd be okay, too. 
For you guys, I'd do it. You know, I, the mirror lure provoker to me is just such a versatile jerk bait. Um, you know, soft plastic, you can make long casts with it, you can fish it weedless, you can fish it on a jig head. I've had phenomenal results uh, for big snook. It's one of my very favorite big trout lures. Caught a lot of redfish on it, you know, pitching it up in the trees and, and making it come out of those mangroves and, and have fish chase them out. It's, it's just a phenomenal bait. You know, the mirror lure line of baits, just in general, um, the, the thought process, the R&D behind the brand is so spectacular and so spot on, especially here on the west coast of Florida, makes everything really, really come together with those baits. Yeah, I know there's one or two up there and they look really big. So we'll let them shrimp just sit right there for a minute and see what happens. Well, with this tide coming in finally, we got some water, we're able to get back in here where you wanted to get to chase these fish around. I know if there's, there was that one sitting there. There's a few more in there. I see, looks like one laying right there, but. I think it's one of the things that people don't understand about redfish is that there's a lot of situations where I personally think, oh, we picked it up. Pick it up, come on. Oh. That's what I'm hoping. Golly, I'm... picked it up. That a girl. Oh, it's got a little redfish roll to it. Nice. It's a nice fish. That is. Nice I'm job, Captain. Come on, I got you. Plenty of room. Yep. That's a real nice fish. Yep. Real nice redfish. Nice upper slot. Shoulders, head shake, rolling. On the on the cur rig. <laughs> on the cur rig. Yeah. Now. Look at now the that, color on that guy. Now that we've been to uh, school. Yeah, the the Miyagi Do. Redfish Miyagi Do. I got a lot of good people around me though. I know that. Hey, that's the way it works. Nobody yeah, does man. it on their own. Nobody does it on their own. Like right now, I'm gonna get down here and land Lisa's fish. <laughs> and I love you for that, man. I love you for that. She won't, she won't <laughs> let me catch fish today, so I gotta land her fish, I guess. Come here. Come here. Don't you belly roll on me? Get in here. Well, let me tell you what. That fish. He wanted that. He wanted some scrimpies. You pliers, you good? Um, you got have to cut it, I think right? it's a donate. Okay, here you go. I got, got him. She's a donator. Wow, nice fish, little young lady. Yeah. Nice fish. There you go. A good nice fish. fish. Yeah. Oh gosh, nice they're job. just absolutely. Good job, Captain. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're nice and red back here. Yeah. Healthy fish. Healthy. This fishery is so healthy. They're being a little spooky back here right now, though. We got the shallow water and it's moving in pretty fast. So that's that's short for we haven't caught enough yet. We haven't caught enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Citrus County Plantation on Crystal River. I was looking at the spot to see what we got. One on each side. Beautiful fish. Got the blue tail going, eating some crabs and some shrimpies. Let's get a good release, son. You know, probably one of my very favorite things to do in, in all of inshore fishing is to throw artificials. Um, and it's so nice to be able to come to an area like Crystal River, uh, Citrus County, Florida, and, and, and do a little bit of, of artificial fishing. You know, some areas where the pressure's real heavy, fish don't always react well to artificial baits. Uh, here in Crystal River, Citrus County, really that whole Nature Coast area, you know, there's pressure, but it is, it's still limited enough that the fish react really well to artificial baits. Um, we got to do a little bit of both today. You know, there's certain times when artificial baits just work better, um, or I'm sorry, live baits just work better. And, uh, you know, we had a little bit of all of that today, which again, anytime I can get on the water, throw some artificials, you know, then we, we got to play with the live bait a little bit. It, it just makes for a really awesome, special kind of well-rounded day. You know, one of the coolest things about Crystal River 
Citrus County is the fishery is so diverse. I mean, there's so much opportunity, especially in the spring. You know, the, there's always big trout around, there's redfish around, there's snook around. Um, and again, it's, it's coming alive because, you know, spring just, everything flushes out of the back country and it, it, it gets really, really special. Um, and that's what I love about coming here. It's, it's a hop, skip and a jump from my home waters in Tampa Bay. And, and the fishery just never ceases to amaze me. We always, always, always catch a surprise fish. We always catch a multitude of species. Just an incredible estuary. The plantation on Crystal River is a beautiful 50-year-old, 232-acre old Florida-style resort, offering comfortable accommodations and a full-service spa. They call this the Nature Coast for good reason. Fishing is spectacular, from snook, trout, and reds to big grouper and snapper. On-site activities range from golf to boating, fishing, and swimming with the manatees in the natural springs of Kings Bay. The Real Animals Fishing Show can't recommend a better place to stay on the nature coast than the plantation on Crystal River. You know, I think one of the things that separates certain anglers is patience. And it's, it's not something that's really a specialty of mine. Um, it's gotten better over the years though, because you, you start to realize that, you know, there's days when the fish, you get on a, on a school of redfish, you get on a big pile of snook, and they're just not ready to eat. And you have to kind of start to read situations with the tides and with the sky and with the weather and the wind and, and start to understand that these fish don't eat all day long. And patience is the key to truly great fishing. And great charter captains, great fishermen have that innate ability to be patient, slow things down around them, not get too excited. And, and, and on a day like today, it really paid off for us. You know, the fish were being a little stubborn. We had to work a little bit for them. Um, but we also knew all three of us you know, having done this for a long time, knew that if we just stayed the course, stayed focused, that it would all come together. There you go. Sean. Fish on. A right, girl. And a little John, too. A little, a little red. Yeah. Like it, yeah. Mirror no, lure. trout. Is it a trout? No, nope. little it's red. A little red dog. Yeah. Little red fish. It's fun on that rod, boy. Fun. Little six, six banshee. <laughs> I'll bring this over this side over here. Nice little fish. Little Pretty little fish. There we go. That was like as soon as it hit the First water. Cast. Yeah. Little John will get you. Hey gang, this week's Real Animals Tip of the Week. You know, I'm fishing with my good friend, Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, and she is CCA Florida Star Tournament Director Extraordinaire, <laughs> leading us through many years of great tournaments. What, uh, what can we look forward to Star 2022? Well, you know, um, it's pretty exciting. This is the first year we've ever had a title sponsor. That's West Marine. That is awesome. And that is spectacular. Again, we have $100,000 in college scholarships to award, Real Tree Fishing, um, many other uh, organizations who have donated. So to date, we've awarded 700,000 in the competitions. This is the eighth year. I can't believe it's the eighth We still year. have 17 divisions. One of the coolest thing though, that we're fishing here in Citrus County is this is a destination county. And every year in Citrus County, we have someone who catches a 
star tagged redfish and either they're not registered or they win. We've had three winners out of Citrus County. To me, that would be the worst. If you actually catch a star tournament tagged redfish only to realize you didn't get in the tournament, that's going to be heartbreaking. You, you just lost the keys to a boat were yeah. on the end of your line and all you had to do was sign up for CCA Four Star. Yes, you want to be a member of CCA, you want to be registered for the competition. Get registered now because if you catch one of the previous year's redfish tagged, you win a thousand dollar prize package from Engel Coolers. Awesome. So, you know, 17 different divisions, every fish you catch over the summertime has an opportunity to win you something. You've got trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, kingfish, dolphin, uh, grouper, all of those species, anything you catch, you can enter. You can enter it in the Power Pole Conservation Division, but the coolest division, even though we have the U Scholarship Division, is our Costa Kick Plastic Trash Division. Yeah, no you know, yeah. five gallon bucket, you pick up garbage that you find on the water, uh, plastic bags, anything that you find anywhere on the coastal shorelines, take a picture of it, submit it, Thank and you, you have it. a chance to win. I mean, 101 days. 101 days, Memorial Day, which is May the 20, uh, Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, May the 28th, through Labor Day, which is September the 5th. 101 days of fishing. You're going to be fishing anyway. I've yeah. always said this one makes no sense to me. This is a no brainer. You're going fishing all summer anyway. If you have kids, you have a chance at $100,000 in scholarships. If you don't have kids, you get a chance at boats, motors, prizes, trolling. Like, There's just unbelievable. Yeah, it. yeah, it's unbelievable. How do they get signed up? They get signed up by going to ccaflstar.com or if they have difficulties with that, they can call us at 844 387-7827. We'll register them right over the phone. Easy peasy, but you got to be in it to win it. We need you. If you love to fish, you need to get involved. Getting Joining CCA is one thing. It's a great move. We need everyone to do that. But go ahead and kick in. Get yourselves lucky. Win some prizes. Fish the CCA Florida Star Tournament. Hey gang, this week's Real Animals Tip of the Week, I want to talk to you about my good friends at Gills Gear. You know, Gills was founded back in 2008 by a group of guys who just loved to fish. They were looking for innovative, protective, stylish fishing wear that met their needs for being on the water here in Florida. You know, our conditions here, Mother Nature is not always super nice to us. The sun is brutal, the wind is brutal. Um, and if you spend a lot of time on the water, you have to stay protected. And, and what they've done here at Gills in, in so many areas is just spectacular. The fit, the feel, the design, uh, usability, things that you can use in your apparel, all right here at Gills Gear. You gotta check these guys out. I've been on the water for t almost 25 years here in Florida. This is by far the best apparel line I've ever worn. They got you covered from sweatshirts, rain gear, shorts, pants, long sleeves, short sleeves, you know, neck gaiters, the whole nine yards, they have you covered. Go to gills-gear.com, check them out today. You know, again, it's always a special day. Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, uh, she does so many great things. CCA Florida uh, is, is near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'm a big believer that everyone should be a member. Uh, the CCA Florida Star Tournament, just a great event. Captain James Kerr, you know, time and time again, this guy always, always delivers, always puts us on fish, just a great, great day on the water with some really great and special people. He's coming right into the hole. There you, there go. you go. Nice fish right there. That's a day maker, buddy. Out here grinding all day. Oh yeah, We're making this work for him. It's all right though. Good fish. I'm gonna let you come around. Look at this one, look at that one. There's like three or four more right here. Yep. I've seen that, that's what was laying up in here. Did you use your magic hook on that one? The magic curve rig. Low water out here. Fourth quarter right here, buddy. 
Oh yeah, bomber. 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 Nice this. Is he hooked good? Uh yeah. It's a nice fish, man. It put up a heck of a fight that too. One's a dandy. <laughs> Low That's water. The Citrus County stud right there. Plantation on Crystal River. Captain James Kerr getting it done. Good fish, kid. Mm -hmm. We've been out here working today. Working picking, for the working picking for and poking. We've been in fish all day. We were in fish here for 40 minutes before we got this one to chew. They've been making us work, but they are here. They are plentiful. And when you hook one, it's well worth the trip. It's a nice fish right there. That's a good one right there. Probably huh? a good 29, 30 inches maybe. Yeah, that's a good fish. Roughly. Big shoulders, healthy, strong. That's Eight why you come, baby. Ate the shrimp and uh, they're making us work, but you know. You're the redfish Miyagi. Well, <laughs> I cast a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of casting, yeah. Well, nice work, Captain. Heck yeah, thank you. Good stuff. Thank you, guys. Let's get this one back in the water. Big breeder. Ha <laughs> ha!